Gentlemen, today we're showing you the five key aspects of the bad boy mentality and how you can use it to get girls. Bad boys are the antithesis of nice guys. For all that's lacking from the life of a nice guy, bad boys have it in spades. More attention from women, better dating success, endless confidence. Girls just can't help but love a guy who seems to do what he pleases and wants for nothing. For some guys, the mindset can seem intimidating, unattainable, and not worth pursuing. But we promise it's easier than you think. With a little help from us, just about any guy can compete with the best of the bad boys and build those anti-nice guy habits that are the biggest turn-ons for women. But because it can be easy to overdo the bad boy shtick and actually start annoying girls, we're also showing you the number one mistake newbie bad boys make. All right, let's jump in. Number five, the code. Imagine any iconic bad boy from pop culture. It could be James Bond, Han Solo, or Mike Lowry. All those characters walk a fine line between being bad boys and being bad guys. But the thing that separates the two is the personal code. If bad boys didn't stand for something, they'd just be villains. So what are you willing to stand up for? Figure out the things you value, the ideas and people most important to you, and develop your personal code. Figure out which rules are meant to be broken and which ones need defending, and then stick to your code no matter what other people think. This shows girls that you know how to stop being the nice guy and that if you're loyal to your code, you'll be loyal to her too. Number four, speak softly. In the words of the original Rough Rider, Teddy Roosevelt, speak softly and carry a big stick. Learn to choose your words and always be willing to consistently follow them up with action. You'll find that if you do this, your words will carry weight with everyone you meet. Now, there's nothing wrong with being talkative, but by itself, talk is cheap, especially to girls. So avoid talking for talking's sake. Instead, mean what you say and say what you mean. A trait experts believe may be the secret to getting any girl. Number three, let them hate. The simple fact is some people don't like bad boys. That's why we call some guys bad boys and others guy haters. Part of living the bad boy life means having the confidence to be yourself, even if that means butting heads with some people. This can actually lead to better communication and help you find people you really connect with. So don't be the nice guy faking that it's all good. Have the confidence to accept that being true to yourself means you won't please everyone. And that's okay. You'll stop basing how you feel about yourself on how other people feel about you. And you'll even start carrying yourself differently. Check out this video to master the alpha male body language tricks that reflect the confidence of the bad boy mentality. Hey guys, just a quick break to remind you that at the end of this video, we're going to show you the one critical mindset trap that takes you from being the intriguingly roguish bad boy and turns you into someone girls just don't want to be around. So to avoid being the world's loneliest bad boy, stay tuned till the end of this video. Now let's finish the top two on our list. Number two, misrespect. Bad boys traditionally have a difficult relationship with authority, often because of what seems like a lack of respect. And even though bad boys might respect authority less than the boss thinks they should, bad boys actually pay respect when respect is due. They don't respect a person for their position or title. They respect them for their qualities and their actions. Sadly, treating people with the respect they deserve is so rare that it's actually a rebellious thing to do. So while the man might see this as intolerable disrespect, the bad boy mentality is just giving each person the amount of respect they deserve. You're a rebel after all, not a jerk. Number one, urgency. Here's what it all comes down to. Girls like bad boys because they don't wait for life to happen to them. They go out and make life happen. Amazing experiences and once in a lifetime opportunities don't generally pop up in the ads on your newsfeed. And the bad boys feel the urgency of getting out in the world and experiencing things, even if it means taking some risks. That's what gives bad boys the sense of danger that's so attractive. Women know that life with a bad boy will never get stuck in a rut, and the promise of excitement is impossible to resist. All right, as promised, here's the number one mindset that gives bad boys a bad name and is guaranteed to ruin your relationships apathy. What used to be considered the defining trait of bad boys has come to an end in 2018. No one wants to be with a guy who doesn't care about anything. It gets old fast. Not caring is some played out shiitake that might work for some girls, but doesn't get you anywhere with the kind of girls you'd really want to get with. So don't make the mistake of equating being bad with not caring. Instead, show her that you have feelings and that you recognize and respect hers too. You'll be the bad boy that she just can't resist. And there you have it. Those are the five keys of the bad boy mindset and the number one bad boy mindset trap. Oh, and guys, while you're here, why not check out these other powerful videos?